oh my god I have such an itchy nose and I always hate this feeling when you the amount of bogeys on my nose is a joke hey there guys it's Cosmo Clo here welcome back to my channel you've seen the title of the video and you know where this is going but I thought I'd give you a backstory I have a secret and it's a secret that haunts me every day of my life. And only a few people know my secret. And my secret is that I have really hairy legs. I know you're all probably thinking, really Chloe, like everyone has hairy legs. But really my leg hairs are an absolute joke. And I don't know if it's because I started shaving my leg hairs at like the age of seven, you know, like big up seven year old me. But honestly, it's a mess. I shave and then within like 0.2 seconds, they're back like, hi, welcome to the stubble life. And it just does my head in. So at the start of lockdown, I decided to grow my leg hairs out so then I could wax them. But then after three weeks and they announced another three weeks of lockdown, my leg hairs were like this long and everyone was like, you might as well wax them. And I was like, but I don't want to wax them because in three weeks time, they're going to be stubble again. So what's the point? Because nobody's going to benefit from that. So I grew them out for six Six weeks and literally my leg hairs were a freaking joke I don't know why I keep looking over there but um they were horrendous and they were so long and it, there was so many of them it was embarrassing so my dad waxed my legs for me <laughs> thanks dad you know father and daughter bonding and it was such a painful experience because obviously it's waxing but it did make the world of difference like my leg hairs have grown back now but they're not as black and not as sharp and they're a little bit more like spread out and I was like I could just wax my legs, but then I thought I can't deal with the fact that I have to wait them, wait them, have to wait for them to grow to like this long before I can wax them. I'm just not about that life. So, introducing the epilator. That is what this is called, isn't it? I've never used an epilator before in my life, so I don't know how this is gonna work. I don't really know if it's gonna be painful, but here it is. This video ain't sponsored, but Philips hooked me up give me a discount code. If you click on the description box below and there's a discount code, it means Philips hooked me up. You know, even 10% off, every like penny helps, counts. What's Tesco saying? This actually says in the box that it's a wet and dry epilator, so you can use this in the shower or not in the shower. This is the epilator. What did I just do? I don't really understand what any of it is. So, is this on? Oh, Jesus Christ. I weren't expecting that. Okay, I'm gonna insert a video here of what my legs um, currently look like. As I said, they're not that bad at the moment, apart from my legs are so dry, so excuse that. Um, but since waxing them, like, my leg hairs have actually not been that bad in terms of, like, being so dark and so sharp. But they definitely are there. And apparently the whole point of an epilator is you can use it whether they're long or short. So this should work just fine. Okay, I think I'm gonna go now. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready. I'm so confused. So I just went over it and I could feel it pulling, but my leg hairs are still there. <laughs> no, like honestly, my leg hairs are still there. I'm really, really confused. Like I could feel it pulling and it felt a little bit like, I don't even know, but my leg hairs are still there. So I don't really know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe this is where I should have read the bloody instructions. Okay, let's go again. I really don't understand what I'm doing wrong because I'm going over like a couple of hairs, like literally like this. And it's not even, like there is hairs in there, but I don't understand. I'm really, really confused. It's actually not that painful either. Like I thought it'd be a lot worse. Oh my god. 
Can you see all the hairs in there? Like, oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused because it is getting the hairs, but at the same time, my hairs are still there. Like, obviously, there's a lot of hairs in here, so they clearly are picking up some, but I still have a lot of hairs that are there. I think I need to read the instructions. So I'm YouTubing how to actually use this device because the instructions made no sense to me. Like there's literally pictures of them shaving their feet, like the soles of their feet. So it, YouTubers. After watching some YouTube videos and whatnot, they say that this is actually best in the shower using wet. Using wet. But I ain't got time for that today. So I'm gonna give it another go. I'm, I am doing it right. I think it's just they say like if you do it in like your shower it works better and they say hold it at a 90 degrees angle like what even is a 90 degrees angle some bits hurt and some bits don't i don't i don't really understand how that works oh, ow jesus it's actually not that painful but my other leg is a lot more sensitive to pain like when i get it waxed i'm always like ah. and that's actually the leg that like had its skin ripped off so i'm gonna try the other leg just to see if it's more painful oh yeah that is more painful already oh my god that is so much more painful I'm gonna do this part of my leg because that's the part of the leg that I know I get a lot of pain. So let's give it a go. Oh! Oh Lord, yeah, that's bad. I can't, I can't. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't. I actually think I'm ready to give my final thoughts. So why don't I just get on with it? This little device is actually really clever and I like the fact it does pull it from the root. So you know like once that hair's gone, it ain't coming back. Well, at least for like two weeks. But I will say that if you are sensitive to pain, probably not for you. Like I hate waxing and that's why I bought this because I was like, at least I'm in control of the pain. But even when I did more sensitive points on my legs, I couldn't do it. So I feel like I'm gonna use this for like the front of my legs and like whatnot, but any sensitive parts, I'm gonna stick to shaving, which kind of defeats the whole point of me buying this, but you know. Also like these little smaller heads that literally look like, <sighs> I fell on the floor. So these are like more of the heads and I legit thought they were like a cape for like a Lego character, but apparently you clip it on like this. So as you can see, like it's nicely on there. So it gets a more like smaller area. So say if you're in a point where you don't want any other areas to be touched, that, that, I don't know what I'm saying. I still want to open the top of this to show you how much hair, because I want to know, but it just won't open and it's so annoying. Maybe it's not made to open. Anyway, honestly, as I said, if pain isn't your strongest point, like you're not into all that like, BDSM, SM, you know, all of that. No, honestly, guys, if you're not really like good with your pain, maybe don't get this, stick to your shaving, but just be aware that it is gonna grow back quicker. This actually gets it from the root. I think I will continue to use this because why the frick not? Like, it's actually, it's actually not a bad little device. And the fact that it's wireless as well, like, come on. Like, that's genius. Honestly, gonna rate it a 7 out of 10. The only reason why it hasn't gone 8 is because I have to go over the same point quite a few times to get, I thought it'd be like, you know, when you shave and it's like, ding, I thought it'd be like that, but you do have to go over certain points, which doesn't actually bother me that all. Like, I have nothing to do with my life anyway, so what does it matter if I have to sit here for like an hour just trying to get rid of my leg hairs? Like, it makes no difference. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like, subscribe, notification bell, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, even though I literally am an antisocial hermit. Bye guys. Honestly, where is the bin? I'm gonna bin that right now.